Welcome to my closet. Yes, I'm inviting you into my closet today because some of you ladies in particular have asked where do I get my dresses, how do I find my gowns, what's in my closet, and yada yada yada. So, I'm taking you into my closet today also because it's actually clean today. So, come on, step in this way. I do have a lot of clothes, my husband teased me, but um, a lot of it is actually gowns, so they do serve a purpose. So my style and branding for my music is a classic look. A lot of that is to do with my genre and the type of music that I do. But on a normal day-to-day -day basis, I am super casual. Like you can find me in yoga pants and leggings and um, sweatshirts and whatnot. But when I'm doing my music, I like to be feminine, I like to be classic. I am also a more modest girl, so I like to find dresses that cover up a little more. I think that the last thing you want to worry about when you're on stage performing is if you're falling out of your dress or if there's something that you're self-conscious about, you just want to be confident and not have to be thinking about that when you're on stage. And so I like to just cover up a little more. My religion actually has a lot to do with dressing a little more modest modestly. I know that it can be tough to find a modest gown, um, especially when you don't want to look like you're wearing a bridesmaid dress or a prom dress. But ladies, it is possible to find really beautiful gowns that aren't hooker dresses <laughs> and there are some tricks that I do to actually or adjust gowns to be more modest and cover up a little more so I'm gonna kind of show you that so one thing that I've done is I've had dresses designed and sewn um, two actually ended up on my album covers this one is from my illumination cover this is a dress that I um, I saw on Blake Lively at the Oscars I think it was and I really loved it. It was sleeveless, and so I actually designed a version with, with sleeves, and I had my mother-in-law, who's an amazing seamstress, she sewed this for me. It was a lot of work. I don't always recommend sewing from scratch because sometimes, in the end, it can actually be more expensive and way more time-consuming than if you just bought a dress outright. But if you're looking for something specific like I was, um, I actually had that one sewn. Another one that I've had designed and made was this skirt. You might recognize this from my first album cover, Key of C. Again, my mother-in-law, she sewed this one for me too and I designed that one. Um, another thing that I have done is I, I found this Chinese dressmaker called Prom Dresses OL, it stands for online.com. And I know people are sometimes, they have reservations about using dresses from China, but this, this website is the real deal, they're legit. I have probably at least 10 dresses from them. I've worked with them before, they've given me a discount for exchange on promoting them on social media. If you're a musician, that's something you can always ask a designer about, is if they're willing to give you a discount in exchange for promoting them on the red carpet or at an event or something like that. So this is one of the gowns from that designer. It's just a black sequin gown with kind of a lacy top up here. And I wore this one for my photo shoot with Victoria Toka. We did this really fun photo shoot on some rocks and the black was really great. And her gown from that shoot was also from that designer. Here's another one. I wore this one at the Hollywood Music and Media Awards. And then I also later had it altered and I used it for my illumination video shoot. And so what we did to alter it was we added sleeves and my seamstress added a lot of nude lining inside, which you can see. Ladies, nude liner is your friend. So if there's a dress that's not quite perfect for you, you can always get nude fabric and line it and cover up any spots that you want to. I actually use that quite a bit. In fact, here's another dress that I did that with. I love this one. Again, this is from that same um, Chinese dressmaker that I've gotten quite a few dresses from. Again, it has nude lining here. And then my seamstress added inside here. She added nude fabric inside here. I wore this when I performed with the Evergreen Philharmonic and from the audience's perspective, it just, it looks like skin. You would never know that it's all fully lined with nude fabric. This is a BCBG Maxaria, Maxaria dress. Again, this one had a cleavage that went clear down here, and so I actually, I took fabric from the bottom and cut it and then added it 
Sorry, it's hard for me to get my dresses out of here. I added it here and um, it just gave me a little bit more coverage here so I was comfortable wearing it and not feeling like I was gonna pop out of my dress. BCBG, they just make dresses that really flatter the female body and they just hang really well. And I wanna say that I, you know, I have three kids and I have been every size from like a size six to a 16 and so a lot of my dresses are a lot of different sizes depending on what my body shape is. My youngest is two, and so I'm still losing the weight from that whole pregnancy and everything, and so I, I just have a lot of different sizes in my closet, and I know how to dress my body for the shape that it's currently in. That's really important. This is a dress that I wore for my Alleluia music video, and this one is by Kiona. I didn't have to do anything to this dress. It's really beautiful, lace. Um, just very comfy and stretchy. It fit actually really well. Badgley Mishka is another designer that has a lot of great, more modest options. You might recognize this dress. I used this in my Winter Symphony photo shoot. And this is actually fuchsia. It's a fuchsia color, but in post-edit on my photos, I had my um, photographer change this to red. So in the photos, that's something, if you can't find the right color that you're looking for, just always know that they're, if it's in the same color family, you can work with it. This is a Nicole Miller dress that I used for my Illumination concert. And this one was quite busty. <laughs> I added some lace up here. Um, I just felt more comfortable on stage having a little more coverage there. But this one is just gorgeous. It has a really long train. It's really fun to wear. I got this from a sample sale website. They, they have like more couture kind of dresses and they're trying to get rid of them and they usually go on sale. And Those kind of websites are awesome but you have to also kind of watch them every day because they don't always have the same stuff every day. Here's another dress that I got from that same Chinese dressmaker and this one I used for my Requiem for a Dream video shoot. It has these awesome sleeves that blow in the wind. <laughs> I really had to be pinned into this dress. I didn't fit totally perfect and so I, they were pinning me everywhere. This is a dress that I got on Venus website. It's just called venus.com. I wore this at my Carnegie Hall performance in New York. It's a mermaid style dress and Venus is a great website. I'm taller and so they have a lot of great dresses for taller women that, you know, sometimes it's hard to find a dress that comes to your ankles or it's at a weird length and Venus has a lot of great options for taller women. This is another dress um, from that same China dressmaker. This one I wore for the ZMR Awards in New Orleans. Um, this one was a lot of fun. And again, it's lined, so it was fully covered. Adriana Papel is another really great designer that makes classy, um, more modest dresses. And this is one that I wore at the Indie Music Channel Awards, a little cocktail dress. I just have a lot of church dresses. I don't want to bore you with all my church dresses. I have so many, just casual. Again, I get a lot of longer maxi dresses from Alloy or Venus because they are for more taller women. And then I also have a lot of dresses that I haven't worn yet, either because I don't have something to wear them to or it's not my size, but I find it and I love it and I want to make sure I snap that up. Um, I have a lot of black in my closet because I used to perform with orchestras all the time and you're required to have black. And so black, 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 black. Black, black. So many, so many black dresses. In case you're wondering what's behind me, it's my wall of motivation. <laughs> Inspirational quotes and things in my closet that you're not supposed to see, but you're seeing it. This is the dress that I wore in my Illumination music video. This one was only 30 bucks. I got it on Alloy's website and I paired it with this um, jacket down here with these little cool really sleeves. This is the dress that I wore in my Carol the Bells video. This was a lot of fun. I didn't have to do anything to this one. It was just awesome the way it was. This dress right here, this red one, um, this was originally an $800 dress. I can get it out from Bagley Mishka. It has a nice train. I wore this at Benaroya Hall when I performed with the Enzyme Symphony. It has these amazing cuffs on the sleeves that people from the audience were telling me that they sparkled every time my hands moved when I played. But this was an originally an $800 dress and I put myself up on notification on shop style. You can put in exactly what you're looking for. 
and I basically said I was looking for this dress and I got a notification when it went on sale and so I only paid about 300 for it which for this dress it's all velvet and it's gorgeous so 800 down to 300 was a really good deal. This is another dress I haven't worn yet. It's from that China dressmaker. Oops. Over here. Kind of like a mermaid dress. There's also a website that I've used called Dress We. And that one is kind of cool because you can basically pick out whatever dress you want and the color that you want. You can add sleeves, you can change it up. They will make it to order for you. And they're not too expensive. Like I have some ball gowns here, like this red one. And there's another one over here. And this one right here. And there's another ball gowns. Um, this one was sleeveless and I had them add sleeves to it. And yeah, so that's another option. Some things that I'd recommend staying away from is adding stuff to the dress that just is, is not cohesive with the dress. For example, I've seen a lot of women add t-shirts underneath dresses because they're trying to cover up or maybe it's a strapless dress and they're adding like a tank. Even sometimes jackets and sweaters going over a dress just takes away from the original aesthetics of the dress and it's kind of tacky. So I don't recommend doing that. Stay away from doing that if you can. Instead, if you can afford it, I would buy two dresses, take the material from the second dress and have a seamstress just add material to the dress that you want to make it how you want it and it will be a perfect match. Um, again, the other thing that I recommend doing is nude fabric liner. So if you have a dress that isn't completely what you want and you're, you want to add something to it, I highly recommend the nude fabric liner, obviously. I've done that with so many of my dresses. I'm not really a shoe person, but I know you need them, so I have them. These are my favorite performing shoes. I don't do on heels, even though I do wear them. These are great. They're kind of like a mix between a sandal and they're comfy. And I have heel inserts that I put inside. I wore these ones at the Indie Music Channel Awards. They're not the most comfortable shoes, but again, I put heel inserts and I was able to wear them all night with no problem. This is my jewelry. I know it, it looks like a mess, but it's really not. I'm very, I know exactly what's over here. <laughs> Again, if I find something that I like, I will go ahead and snatch it up. I also have a friend who is a jewelry stylist and she's come to video shoots and photo shoots before and she's just brought a bunch of necklaces and things to choose from and then I'll often buy things from her afterwards and use that. When I'm looking for a dress for an event or a photo shoot or a video or something, I actually spend a lot of time looking for that just right dress. There's so much online. I hardly ever buy a dress from a store. Actually, I buy a lot of things online and just have them shipped to me. I've also used Rent the Runway for events. You can rent a really nice expensive dress that looks amazing. and. Um, the prices vary, but you can rent a dress and, and send it back, and I've done that before, which was really awesome, actually. Um, you kind of have to keep, take an account, though, is it worth buying or renting? Because some, some of the dresses, if it's like a $2,000 dress, they're going to charge you, you know, like $200 to rent it for the night, and you might just be able to go buy a dress for $200. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my closet, and maybe you got some ideas if you're looking for a gown, and don't give up. It's... You know, there's so many options to find dresses out there, and if you need more options, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. I'm happy to make more suggestions. There's a lot that I actually didn't mention. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel this coming year. I am going to be putting out a lot more performance music videos and vlogs, so I hope that you will continue on this journey with me, and thank you so much. Bye.